to, to, to think that I can run 200 miles, 240 miles, and that becomes like running 50. I never thought that was possible. This is why I'm, I'm always pushing that limit because I know that within pushing these limits, there's always more. So I end up doing like, almost like back to back 200 mile runs. When the 200 mile race, 240 mile race was hard at once, it became something that was very easy after I figured it out. So for me, this was the new level. Welcome back everyone. Today, we're diving deep into the mindset of one of the toughest individuals on the planet, David Goggins. Strap in, because we're about to explore the mind hacks David uses every day to push his limits and how you can use it to transform your life. David Goggins, a former Navy SEAL, ultramarathon runner, and motivational speaker, wasn't always the epitome of mental toughness. Growing up, he faced adversity and struggled with his weight and self-esteem. The mind controls everything. You get to 40%, your brain says, we're done. So you sit down. Goggins coined the term 40% rule to describe the idea that when your mind tells you you're done, you're actually only 40% done. The other 60% is where your true potential lies. So if you know that at 40%, I'm, still, you know, I'm feeling pain. At 40%, I'm feeling pain. That's where the 40% rule kicks in. Now it starts, okay, I'm, I'm feeling pain. My mind's saying all this shit to me. It's saying, get out of here, run, flee. Okay, we're done, we're not good enough. It starts telling you all these things. You start to believe it. This is the time where you have to gain control back of your mind. It's okay, let me see if I can go 45%. You start then controlling your mind. Start finding more in, you know, in yourself. And then it goes from 40% to a lot further than that. But that's the start of it though. Get to, get to the spot where your mind is saying stop. You gotta get there first. And then that's when that shit starts to work for you. You gotta control yourself in that moment. The 40% rule isn't just about physical endurance. It's about pushing past mental barriers. It's about embracing discomfort and leaning into the pain. Most people stop when they feel discomfort. But discomfort is where growth happens. Embrace it and you'll discover what you're truly capable of. Whether you're training for a marathon, starting a business, or pursuing any goal, the 40% rule teaches us that our minds are our biggest limiters. So how can we apply the 40% rule in our own lives? It starts with embracing discomfort and pushing past our perceived limits. Here are three key strategies to harness the power of the 40% rule. Number one, set audacious goals. Don't settle for mediocrity. Aim high and push yourself beyond what you think is possible. Number two, develop mental resilience. Train your mind like a muscle. Practice pushing past discomfort in small ways every day. Number three, surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself with individuals who challenge and inspire you to be better. That's, that's my happiness the suffering of my journey, knowing I never quit, nor was I guided by anybody on this earth. I was guided by something much more powerful, and I listened, and I chose the path of most resistance. Talent not required. In conclusion, the 40% rule reminds us that our greatest limitations are often self-imposed. By embracing discomfort and pushing past our perceived limits, we unlock our full potential. So, the next time you feel like giving up, remember David Goggins and the 40% rule? You're capable of so much more than you think. It's about gaining control of your mind, putting things back in the proper perspective, and then saying, I really do want to be here, and I have to learn to control these, because if I fail, I will not be a SEAL. I will not be a doctor. I will not be a lawyer. I will not be whatever the fuck it is. I believe that most human beings are only living at about 40% of their capability.